Hello, one am Trillism and welcome back to Transport Fever 2, where we have a lot of transportation going on. Most of it was industry, but last episode we put in a whole load of bus networks, and you can see we've got 56 people being transported in and out of the bus depot, 30 people on this line here, 22 up to Kid Kijidistan, 37 going over here to Fanian. Like, we have a lot of people being transported, and I think this is the point where we can probably kick in and get ourselves a passenger network of rails, as opposed to just using the existing uh, road network. It'll be a bit quicker, we can do it in bulk, and it will not require many, many, many horses and coaches, which uh, it does have a little tendency to start backing up. In fact, we have a lot of people waiting over here for the industrial line. I don't know why the industrial line in particular is so popular, but it is. We've also got a whole lot of people waiting for the intercity. 17 people want to go to Fanian right now. How many are we Fanian? 24 waiting to go back to Dahlgren. So we need to put in a train to sort this. We're going to slow down the game a little bit. Right. I think we're going to start with the tracks. I normally go with that. And we will want to get ourselves a passenger station. And we will probably want two tracks because we're going to want an in and an out. Hell, we might even want more than that. But for now, since it's going to be a passenger, I want it to be a big loop and we'll probably run a couple of trains on it. Kijistan, Dahlgren, Fanian. We might even want to add more later on. But just for now, I want to set these three up. And we'll probably want to put this somewhere like there or maybe over here. It will cost us a lot of money to knock down a whole load of buildings they're probably going to complain. We could, if we didn't want to like have the in and the out at opposite ends, we could use the terminus station, which allows us to do this. Put it in the center of the town, which would get a lot of coverage. And then we'd have to run the rails out the end. It would work. We'd have to set it up so that they cross each other and there'd be some switches involved, but it would work. I think that's probably the safer bet. Yeah, it would cost a lot of money. We're going to cost a whole ton to just be knocking down stuff, but yeah, it would also cover most of the town. So I'm actually going to pause the game, and I think we will start off by deleting a road or two. If we wanted to, we could actually place it here. It'll be right next to the bus depot. Let's look. Where do we cover if we go here? Yeah, no, here's better. Opposite the bus network. So, B. I'll just delete that for now. And then... Oh, no. We need to delete that one as well. I think I just deleted something important. We'll come back to that in a moment. Do, 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 do. Ignore the problems I've created. Uh, we will want to turn you a little bit. And we'll leave like a room on either side. Because you're going to be connecting down the end there. And we might want to expand certain roads. Uh, in fact, we will expand this road now because we might not get a chance later on. Right. Uh, I can't really make it perfectly level with these roads, which is frustrating. Which is more level? That, maybe. Hmm. Maybe that one? Okay, we're gonna go this way. And that is our passenger train station. All pretty, got a clock and everything. And then we'll need to run the lines out like that. All right, great. Uh, let's put one up here in Kyrgyzstan. This one might not need to be doubled, but let's have a look. Where do we want to place it? This is actually a pretty tough one. In theory, I'd want to place it here on this road. I wouldn't be knocking over that many buildings. Mm. 
The downside is that that hill is going to get in the way. So we'd end up probably running two lines into a tunnel. And if we didn't, it'd be going uphill. And if it went uphill, then the trains would slow down. So we'd be better off placing it like that way. Maybe over here. Yeah, probably like that. In which case, sorry about this, guys. Just delete part of the town. Huge chunks of town just being smushed. I will actually put the game on playing forwards again because I'm going to need the money. Actually, no, I won't. We need to sort out you. Okay. Station report the following. Oh, lines report the following. Manage line. What are you meant to be doing? Tools. From Dahlgren North down to here. Ah, right. And now you're complaining that you don't have anywhere to go because I might have deleted the station you meant to drop off at. Oh, right. That makes sense. Let's get you a new truck stop. Uh, right. They're actually in two parts now. I've kind of separated the two districts. Okay, we could do two different stops, like one here, and then one uh, here, and then we will run a road back across these. We'll do it now so that they're happy. I don't want to delete that building. I also don't want to go near the station because I'm meant to be giving the station space to expand, so I guess we'll have to do this. Oh. Sorry, buildings. This costs so much money. Add station. Boop. Boop. Play forwards again. Right. Now to install the line. Uh, I think the way we'll do this is we'll just l run a line straight down here and then out across this road. So actually people are going to back up as we get trains crossing, which will be fun to watch. We need more money. Come on, give me money. I guess we could have to take a loan or something. Uh, we will put you in here. I think initially we can start on this side of the road before crossing. That is 75 the entire way. Which I think is the best we're going to get on this road. Uh, train line. There we go. Little cut in the terrain there. Then we're going to come in near here. Now, I don't actually want to put a line in just straight into here. I want the line to be going past and then us to be able to connect to it. So we probably want the line coming down here. So I'm actually going to put this line in first. Put that in there. Lovely. And we've got our crossing, which is generating little crossing points, which is great. And then you. We're going to probably put you in straight to begin with. This is going to get weird because we need to cross over here. And then there. 
And then you need to cross like that. Come on, I know you can do this. Like you're saying there's a collision, but I know you can do it. There we go. Although that speed isn't great. Oh, that speed is better. 60. I guess that will be fine. Plan for the future. We're not going to reach that speed right now. And then you... Can we connect? It might complain because of the road. That's potentially a problem that could happen. Um, nope. Try again. Or, you know, grab the wrong area. Come on. Ah! These can be annoying sometimes to try and connect as you're coming in, because you are technically crossing it. There we go. I think it comes into a problem when we get to that corner. And that is a bit too slow for me, so what we're going to do is we're going to pause. And then I'm just going to be like, hey, boop, boop, boop. And we can do that afterwards. Like, we can totally remove the road. The train's more important because the road, cars don't slow down as much as, say, the train will have to on corners. All right, there we go. 50, 60. Let's try and get that up to 75 if we can. 70, that'll do. And then... I think we can do this. Like, I'd like to allow each station to be able to go either way. Now, obviously, we could do something like that. That might be tough to get the other one to cross there, though. Or we could do the crossing up here as they're just entering and leaving the station. That's probably safer to do. Like that. And then same back. Yeah, that way they can choose which way they want to exit. Okay, fix road. And I'll actually upgrade that bit of road as well. This is like a gesture of goodwill. Done. Okay, and you know what? We'll upgrade this bit here. Boop. We are kind and generous. And now, trains going in and out of here, they have a slip switch. Boop. When you're crossing here, a slip switch, which means you can go into either of these lines. And same here. Which means that you can enter the station from either side, go into either siding, and come out again. Which I think is perfect. And then we need to connect you up to here, so... Ooh! It can actually connect to the side of the road, so it follows a road? That's so neat! Probably won't do that with trains, because roads can wiggle a lot more than trains can. But, we could do that with roads that we want to place next to the train tracks. And then we want these to come up here and meet you. There we go, we maintain the top speed all throughout that. And connected. It does wiggle here and then wiggle back across here before crossing down here, but I think that's fine. We've got Fanian over here, which we'll connect in a moment. Press play again. Now what we're going to do is put some signals on. Oh, and we didn't create a slip switch up here, so we need to do that. If I can. 
because the construction's not possible. Come on. I know you want to. Or not. Might have to just do it the other way around, because it can be a bit fiddly. There we go. And then double slip switch that. Right. Uh, we are running outside signals, so right hand side drive. Bring that all the way down. Hello. Why is there a problem here? Because there are no tools being made? And why are there no tools being made? Because there's no lumber going in. Why there's no lumber going in? Because everyone's waiting. Good job there, guys. I will come back and fix you in a moment. You're just... <sighs> Transportation logistics is... is a mess. Okay. Now we want to make sure that we stop shy of the slip switches. Same down here. And then probably again in the middle. That way they know they can access from either side. I don't want to actually put a uh, mark on either of these, so it should be fine. That should do it. That should work, in theory. I have to put this a little bit close to you. But I can expand stations this way. Hello, you being upgraded? Hmm, fancy. Right. Where is our existing train? It's down here, so I don't think we'll be using this depot, so we'll need to create our own depot. Um... Again, it doesn't need to be this fancy. It doesn't need to keep the speed up. People coming out of the depot can come out quite slowly. So we'll probably put the depot in... I'm thinking at Kijiston. Like, Kijiston can be our, our rail depot area. Building. Train depot. And we'll probably want to put it in at a bit more of an angle, like... Um... I guess we can try that. The question is whether we can bend the track back. Because we want to be able to connect to this side. Like, technically we can connect to there. And I guess we could probably then merge it. Like, connecting to this is easy. Connecting to the one going this way is much harder. I guess technically we could do that and do some sort of weird loop. You're not sure, sod it, why not? And then come onto this. We can go very low speeds to come onto this, but since we have the access now. We'll go 40 miles an hour. We don't need to slip switch here because it's going in that direction because it's a one way. And we're driving on the wrong side of the track. And there we go. Done. Okay, what do we need to fix down here? This mess. Right. Might actually be sorted, vaguely. I think it has sorted. That can happen if you get a lot of tool carts coming at once, they block the inflow and stop the lumber getting there.
But I think now they've cleared, we should be okay. But if we want to expand production, we'd have to change that. Okay. Let's start with a basic line. Boop. Boop. And then back again. Just one simple loop. And we're going to make you TP, train, not toilet paper, train passenger. And then you are... Technically start in Kijistan, but Dahlgren is like our central, so we'll call it Dahlgren and then KDD, KYD, KJD, KYD, I think. Dahlgren to Kid. And then buy a vehicle. Now, do we want to go for the super expensive train here? It does get three more miles per hour. The emissions are higher. It has much more power, but we're not really going somewhere that needs power. Like the, the acceleration helps, but we've got long straights that we can accelerate anyway. We don't need the extra power from you because we have, you know, short distances we need to accelerate in. So we can go for the Borzig. We could go even lower, but at that point, hmm. Power also helps with carrying uh, a lot of cars. I don't know if we need to carry that many. Like, what's the speed at the moment? 28. Passenger car, capacity 8. We probably want to make sure we get 32 capacity going. Um, hmm, acceleration's not great. What happens if we remove the, and we went with the much more expensive BR? Good. Much better acceleration. Like, we're accelerating almost three times as fast on a medium slope, twice as fast on the flats. The upkeep is expensive, but I'm I'm super tempted because what we'll do is we probably won't even have this just being shuttle between the two cities. We'll probably extend this and then make this something that goes to Feiyun as well. We could extend the, you know, we could extend the passenger cars. Go 40 capacity. Yeah, I don't really want to go beyond that right now, but that's 40 capacity. We can afford it. We'll go for it and we'll apply it the new line. Okay. And pause. Very expensive locomotive. You cost a lot of money. Be good. Don't be a waste. Cross the line using that point there. It's not a slip switch. And then there's actually only five cars. I don't think I've ever had something I've only put the five cars on before. Normally I've just gone like, hey, have a load of cars. It's worth it. We go slow, but hey, it's cargo. Passengers? Passengers care about speed, I think. I think that's like a factor in how much they pay. So you're getting up to your 31 miles an hour pretty quick for this day and age. Upkeep is not cheap. Do we have anyone waiting at the terminals? Not yet. Oh, yep, we've got people coming into the terminal now. Now, we didn't need a 160 meter terminal. We could have done with like a 40 meter, probably not 40, maybe 60 meters of the terminal, not 160. But because I wanted to plan for the future, especially with cities expanding, I wanted to go for the bigger one. And you slip switched in that line. You changed. I was trying to get a lovely picture of you at Broadway. There we go. Look at that mission, though. Whoa, big cloud there. Okay, you've got 11 people. 40 people waiting for the day green, uh, Faerun. Uh, we'll sort that. We'll put an extra line in. Okay, you're up to 25, 26. All the coaches there waiting. 
You can go now, guys. It's clear. It's clear. What are you waiting for? What are you... Is there something in particular that you're like... Guys, there's a crossing point up here. Like, we've extended past the crossing point. At what point will you move? You went over it fine. Why is it this direction only? I wonder when you get back to the other station, will it change? Like, yeah, you're going fine. Okay. And here we go. Coming to the station now. What? 55 grand. Nowhere near what we get for industry. And you're just not moving. Yeah. Straight up, not moving. Just gonna have to delete this road and then try again. See if that, like, jogs their ability to move. Maybe I just won't connect this second road. Maybe I'll just connect it like a really steep curve or something. Maybe that was a problem for them. There we go, they're moving now. Okay, you've got 40 out of 40 people when you're up at Kitchen. Really? Yeah, and there's another 19 people waiting. And you only had 11 people last time you made that journey. Wow. Okay. Let's see how much you make with a full load. We might need to add more people to this line. Like, yeah, you're going to be full load as well. I think we'll also start slowly creeping the date up, and we'll set the date speed to just maybe one times. Okay. You're going to have to wait there, guys. We're coming. We're coming through. Poop, poop. Right, get out of the way. Got places to go, people to move, money to be made. Oh, you, you can move now. I think we'll also change which terminal you come in, because right now you don't need to be changing at the slip switch. That's more a practical reason rather than anything else. It doesn't really change anything. 200,000. Not as much as some of our industrial trains make. They make lots of money. But uh, still good. And there's going to be people waiting. Like, by the time you did that, there's now... How many people? Wow. 47 people. Yeah, we could probably do a second train on this run. And I will now change your terminal to terminal one. There we go. Uh, we'll definitely add Fanian as well. So Fanian will probably do this sort of setup, but up here. And we could do a passing through station for you. You're pretty not quite yet built up fully if that's not quite yet built up fully yes words are fine i'm good with them don't judge me uh passenger station terminus if we were to do that would be like there yeah we could do that if we were to do a Passing through part passenger station there. Hmm. Yeah, we're better off using a terminus and then doing the little setup we did before with the track. All right, we're going to have to delete this. I just want to take the opportunity to upgrade this road before we end up kicking everyone out and then things go wrong. You know what? Why not kick everyone out now? Sorry, guys. We've got a plan for the future and you're in the way of progress.
and then there. Right. Yeah, that supplies most of everyone. Okay. Railway. Let's do this track. We'll probably want to curve the track around and then connect it up to here, so... We want a little length of where we can do that slip switch that we always do. Might be blocked because of this road, so we'll also delete the road. Tiny little bit of road survived there. And then, yep, crossing there. We don't actually need to slip switch this thinking about it, because otherwise that's like, hey, you can go to either side. It's like, the only reason you take this turn is if you want to go to either side, so we can leave that. Uh, we will want, though, to try and put something in. I'm not sure we can fit it until we get over here. Might just go a little bit further. And that way we can connect to there. Right. Rail. Oh, there's just that turn there is really slowing us down. I want to try and keep speeds up. Yeah, 75, that'll do. I think we'll start at the other end in this case, because we know where the slip switch is, because it's going to be this connection here. So we want to turn 90 degrees and we want to try and keep that speed up. We can afford a quite a while to turn here. Damn, that's, uh, that's a big turning. Didn't quite anticipate it being quite that ridiculous. Uh, maybe we could start a bit earlier. Uh, I guess we'll just start here anyway. I think we've got to just choose to go for a little bit less. So we'll go for like a 65 speed limit. Sixty-seven. We'll go for, and then we can slip switch that there. And then, come on! I know it's possible to connect because you keep doing it, but I also want to be able to see the speed at the, at the same time. Uh, we'll have to just cancel that, and then. There we go. That's as close as I can get. 58. Sure. We'll not be hitting those speeds any time in the next, you know, 30 years, but afterwards we will. Right. So this allows you to enter from either side to go onto this side. So technically, I, I guess we could actually do that, which puts the slip switch in here. Or that. A bit more excessive, but I kind of like the look of it. And that allows you to go from that side. Yeah. Kind of like the look of that. I don't think this is necessary. But it looks great, so that's all that matters. Wait, you're telling me that that doesn't matter in a transportation game? Lies. 
and we'll bring this one in. Ah, that looks beautiful to me. That's absolutely gorgeous. Right, let's do the track signal. Last ones, I think, are over here. You've got one relatively close, so I don't think I need to double signal that. And uh, we've already got a signal relatively close here as well, so we're actually okay. And we've got signals in between. Yeah, that should work. I don't think there's going to be a problem with that. Could be wrong. Okay. Now the question is, do we want to set up a line here, a line here, and a line here? In which case we've got a three-way line. Or do we want to set this up as a rotate, a big circle? Or a shuttle? And I'm thinking shuttle, because I think if we go Dahlgren, Fanian, Dahlgren, Kijiston, we can use the existing one. And also Dahlgren is where most people are going. So I think what we'll do is add station. actually use the different terminal. I think you should use the same terminal for both. Um, look, if, if we were actually have more trains coming through here, we'd use the same terminal for both, because same terminal for both, because they're both turning the same way when they leave. Right now, because you're the only tr like line using the station, we want both to be on different terminals, so that if we have multiple trains, they could be coming in and exiting at the same time at different points in the cycle. Uh, where is the train on this? Here. Boop, boop. Right, let's actually pull out a little bit. Yeah. I am such a child. Right. Come on. How close are we to the station? A little while away. It's a nice, pretty view there. I do love how we've got that. I mean, admittedly, the gravel is crossing because the gravel is actually the track there, and you can see that where it crosses, the gravel actually goes over the rail. Which is just a little bit strange. That is not normally uh, normally something you look for when you want to try and build a train line. Not see plan on derailing the train. We're into the industrial town of Kidgeston. Okay. Everyone's out. Everyone's in. We're maxed out. How many people left? 33. That's enough for another train while this train is already in there. I'm thinking we might want to put extra cars on you. Are you making any money right now? You are. You are making money, but you did just drop people off, so it could be a lie. Might want to put extra cars on you. We really just need a more powerful train. But, since that is the case, I should just keep that on fast forwards. What we will do is we'll go to the line and actually we'll do some pause. Where is the line? There we go. We'll clone. Oh, we'll take it up. Loan. And then we'll do the clone. And we'll send you to the depot. And then... Uh, which one is it? There we go. We will... Where's the button? Oh, configure maintenance. Replace. There we go. No, not replace. Ugh, wrong one. Sell. Send it to the depot. Oh, I guess you're still entering the depot, technically. There we go. 
we can add extra cars on the back. So you're 40 and 80 seconds there. 49 and 131. Hmm. And if we went to 80, double the capacity. 30, 60, 63 seconds. We could probably do that. Takes half a kilometer to get up to speed. Sure. Capacity 80. Uh, maybe a little bit lower. 509 meters to get up to speed. Okay. I want to modify, but we need more money. Come on, give me money. This will make money. I need the money to make the money. There we go. Oop. There we go. This time, extra three cars added, so on seven cars, not four. Or more? How many cars did I add? Nine cars. I added five more cars. Okay, that's, yeah. I think after this, we'll get you to return to depot. And we'll add the extra cards to you as well. Okay, there we go. Send to depot. There are quite a, people, a lot of people here waiting. Waiting for free path. Why are you waiting for a free path? You should be clear to go. It's something about the train wanting to use this slip switch. Like, technically the train right now is blocking the slip switch, and I'm not sure why that is. Because you should be able to cross well before this train gets to you. Maybe it's just the speed the train's moving. They've locked. Yeah, they're, they're doing a head-to-head. -head. Why are they doing a head-to-head? -head? Like, you can come across here via the double slit switch and enter this side. Oh, because you're in the wrong... You're in the wrong station? But you could just leave. You could cross... Here, like you could actually go right now. You're not you're not locked by that one. I don't know why you weren't going already. Waiting for a free path. Why are you waiting for a free path? I don't get this. Um That was probably the same issue we had there. Right, if you go here. Okay, I'm going to run through this. You go straight up this line. You deviate over here. You go onto this side. What is stopping you? We could just set up the more elaborate system we have over here. If there is a problem, that will probably fix it. I say probably. Okay, and then same over here, because if it can happen one way, it can happen the other. Not sure why. Right, that needs to be a double slip. That needs to be a double slip. That doesn't need to be a double slip. And you're coming in. Okay, you've, you've done it again. All you've done is, like, being able to move further ahead. I'm not sure, like, what... You know, I'll just... I don't know what to do right here. I don't know why you're locking up. 
I'll send you to a line. You can't go to Fanian. Why can you not go to Fanian? Like, for some reason, you refuse to cross this slip switch. Is there a problem with exiting? Maybe, maybe I'm required to put like a... Wrong one. A signal path. Like, they can be set to one way. Maybe that'll help. Apparently that has. I don't know why they can be set to one way, because they seem to indicate a direction anyway. It might just get to here and block itself again. Oh, no, that seemed to work. Okay, so we need to set this just beyond the waypoint. Where we do the slip switch, which we have here. And we have here. Uh, it's just because that's a turning. I guess we need to do it to the turning here as well. Which, well, I guess we don't have a slip switch. Well, technically, that's kind of it. Unable to find a path to stop. Yeah, I know. We'll reverse you, then tell you to go back. Right. You can clear that switch. You can travel in. And then you can go back. And I... Oh, you're taking people. I forgot to send you back to the depot, I guess? Sure. We need the people taken there. Where is that other train? Is it already up here? Oh, it was going to Fanian. Right, hi there. You running a full load? No, you're only running a half load on that one. It's a new line, so I guess you're just new, new to it. That's fine. Come on. Get the people up there, then go to the depot. We're also going to uh, repay some of that loan. Just a small loan left of a million dollars. New vehicle! It is a, a new a new train. Great. It's a cheaper train as well. Not quite as fast. Alright, wait for the changeover. Head for depot. There's 117 people waiting. What? Ten going to Fanian, ninety-two to Kijutsten. Yeah, this is way, way not as popular as that route. I think we have to have one person on loop and then one person just going back and forth or something. New line. Uh, I guess we'll actually rename this one. And then Fay. And then new line. Boop. Boop. And this would be. RC, uh, nope, TC, Dal Green to KJD, uh, KYD. Okay. Who is this new train? Ah, right, BR89 T3. More powerful less tractive effort so it will accelerate faster but it will be a lower speed and it cannot go up as much incline touch less emissions bit less weight longer lifespan yeah i think we just continue with what we've got that's fine and we will increase the number of cars 72 we might even need 72 on the other line for Fanian. But we'll we'll do it because it does everything, so whatever. Uh, we need money though. 
So don't give me money. I shouldn't pay back that loan, should I? And I just want you on the dull green to kid. Hi that. Yeah, they're up to speed already. And they're passing. Yeah. Sorry, that just looked really cool in the pass. I wonder now we've got set up. We could add like a lumber train depot here, have the lines run on and off there. Right. Yeah, there we go. Five people. There are a lot more people than that waiting. When you first dump something to do a, a cargo line or a passenger line, they tend to get the first run kind of weird. I want to see how many you actually pick up when you stop. Probably. We did just pick up 72 from here, though. That said, there's another 63 waiting. There we go, we'll pass. Right, you. There's a lot of people want to travel back and forth from here. Did not expect that. All right, going in. 73 people waiting, perfect. And you collected a half load? Oh no, people want to go to Fanian. People don't want this one. They want to go to Fanian. Hmm. It might be because people are pathing using this line for some reason, and the other line would do. Because most people don't work at Fanian, they want to go to Dahlgren. Look at that, the number of people whose destinations is their own town should normally be quite high. A new car compartment car? Really? Really? How good is it? Eleven people as opposed to eight. Loading speed is twice as fast. Oh, it's so good. Okay. Yeah, people prefer the Fanian line. I'm going to just switch you to the Fanian line. But you should actually start making money now. Where's our other train? Aha! Come up from Fanian with 67 people. That's actually quite respectable. Okay, full car for you. All right, pull in. Grab everyone you can. And I want to get a lovely shot of them going head to head. Here we go. And there we go. Pause. Eh. Totally just grabbing a thumbnail. I'm actually not sure about the thumbnail. It's hard to get the shot I want because one of them is so big and then one's so large. Big and large? Big and small is what I mean. 
Oh, that's a better thumbnail. Right, carry on. And you've got a full load. You've got a full load. We should see good return now. Right, drop them off. How much do you make? 371,000. Train fares are expensive, yo. Now, they're a bit close together for my taste. Probably should be fine. Like, there's no one to go to Fanian right now, and we do have a car, uh, a train coming back down. Like, they should be a little bit further apart, but... Mm. That's definitely going to be a problem when going to a, like, a relatively unused station like Fanian, because when coming back from there, there's only going to be one load of... passengers. Oh, payback loan. There we go. You're making half a million. It was a moment ago, it was much higher, but. Yeah, that's actually getting a really good amount of money in. Almost beating our industrial. At least sometimes. Damn. That's good. That is very good. I'm tempted to try and do something with the steel plant and just. Get some trains to bring in a little bit more coal. Where's the coal? Here. And iron ore here. We got closer coal. I thought we had a closer coal than that. Oh, coal here, iron here. We could also attach that to the train line so that we're bringing a train down to Revisioniston. And then Graysbury. Ship one. Our very first ship. Poor condition. Aww. Uh, I'm not going to bother too much about that. I'm going to wait until we unlock a few more ships. I will leave this ticking a little bit. We've been in 1880 and earlier for a while now. We could even put another train on this line, maybe. Let's have a quick check of Dahlgren. What's the destination like? Yeah, 100 people work up in Kijiston. We've got 127 who shop there. And a decent amount of people over in Fanian now. Line usage is really high for those, which is great. So, I think with that, we've also ruined our, <laughs> our bus route into city because we're not using it anymore. People aren't taking the bus. Yeah, running with zero people. I think we're just going to manage these vehicles. There are eight of them. And just get them to go back to the depot for now. And I think we'll just delete this route. Was it road passenger? Bam, gone. Might have set up something here to deal with the fact that we have quite a lot of people in these bus stations sometimes. Particularly up here. I'm not even sure where they're trying to go. I think it's into the industry area, right? Because they go to here. So I want to make just something to deal with that. Or we could just, as I'm thinking right now, it didn't occur to me before, go to our depot. Obviously, it's the last one I clicked. And set two of them, four of them, let's say, to go to the industrial line. Now, the rest of the industrial line is pretty quiet. That one isn't, though. It's probably because this is a little bit further away from the residential than this one. So people from the residential area are getting into this bus depot to go up to the industry rather than going to the station. And that is a new ship. Nice. It looks a bit more like a passenger steamer than what we want for a cargo ship, but fair enough. That's it for today, though. I think we'll call it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you've liked, like, you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. But until next time, stay shiny.